What's going on everybody? Reese Rabbit here. I need to go to the gym. Seriously, that was exhausting. Wow, I'm out of shape. So, um, Reese Rabbit here. So this is the warehouse sale video. If you couldn't tell by the, the title down there. I would hope you read the title before coming to this. Do people just pick out videos without reading the title? Well, probably. But the thumbnails in my videos aren't cool enough or interesting enough to get people to... I'm going way off here on a tangent. Warehouse sale video. We open technically tomorrow. It's Wednesday, but I'm about to go home. So the next scene you're going to see is us opening for the warehouse sale. Um, we're all set up. Yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm just going to go home. You'll see me in a second. Much more cheery and tired, sad, because I'm not sleeping anymore, and why do I do this again? Why, why do we have to have a job? I didn't ask to be born or any of this. What if I wanted to be like a turkey or something? That sounds like more fun. Chasing after cars on the road, knocking kids off their bikes. Yeah, can, can I just be a turkey? Can we just not do any of this ever again and I just don't have to pay bills or have responsibility. All right, I, I'm done. It is about 6 a.m. Opening up shop. And by that I mean turning lights on and coming in. We're not opening for a couple more hours. I really don't have a whole lot to do this morning. Get carts and signs and stuff out. And I might need to redo some of the special buy signs. I think I forgot something on them. But, uh, have an easy morning. I forgot to say the price is marked. So I'll hang these up. It's just five of them. We got a line of people outside. We're ready to open. Well, at least some of us are ready to open. It's too early for that. Too early, it's 8 a.m. people came in right as we opened more followed later and we started stopping people at about 35 um, I didn't show you what was out there because that's in the end of the last video so first item that sold a mirror for 30 bucks 53 minutes in we're at 2700 bucks but it's starting to slow down out there and we need to start restocking I really think a lot of my customers don't understand what we do here because I see so often people are like, $10 a day is too high, wait until the price is cheaper, wait until dollar day. I feel like they just assume the stuff they see on dollar day is the same stuff that's out here on $10 a day. Yet these comments are on posts that have pictures of what's there. So I don't know how to show them that it's not the same stuff. People, I don't get it. Also, I'm sick of telling people what the address is. I would think that since it's in the post 
and in the photos that they would know what the address is, but they don't because people are, well, this isn't really garbage people. This is just idiot people. There are two types of people. Sometimes it overlaps. There's a Venn diagram of garbage people and idiot people and right in the middle, that's my customers. So it's 12.30, we're just under 10 grand. Let's see, a lot more car. Usually this is about 50-50. Uh, sold seven of those canopies for 594. Remember I spent 520 per pallet and there was those and there was some stuff stacked on top of it. 300 bucks from the pressure washer. Oh, that's right, these are all different ones. 300, 200, 179. So that's roughly what 700 bucks. I paid 1250 for the pallet, and I think there's a couple other SKUs. Let's well, let's first look down here. 2700 bucks, almost 2800 bucks in special buy items. Special buy is doing really well. Let's look at specifics here. Uh, I'll just pull out so you can see a little bit better. Uh, let's see, 25 of the light up items, two of the bunnies. Um, I think we sold more bunnies. That's right, I had to change the category later. So 11 bunnies and then two later. That's gonna be weird when calculating in the end, but five of the sandals, 12 sets of kitchen towels at two bucks each, 24 bucks. Uh, only four of the cans of surface cleaning wipes. We might have to drop those down to a buck. All right, pressure washers. I'm gonna get my calculator out here. Pressure washers. 219.96 that's annoying uh we'll just say 220 plus 180 plus two 300 plus are there any more did we not sell any of the other wait wait i just saw it right here 50 bucks plus 120 so we're at 870 bucks on pressure washers which okay i'm unplugging this 870 bucks on pressure washers we spent 1250 uh looks like i sold a portable ac for 165 uh let's go back up where we were uh one area rug for 20 a batman place at two of them for 50 blanket basket for 30 uh, let's see, Craftsman Weed Whacker was sold for 50, Glass Storage Set sold for 30, uh, Floor Lamp for 40, Glass Bacon Store Set, this is the, that, like, glass Tupperware, sold five of them for 100. We sold one of those curtain sets for 35, Instant Pot for 60, uh, Basketball Hoop for 30, three water tables for 80, well, 77.97. Uh, four mirrors for a hundred bucks, uh, nightstand for 25, porcelain dinnerware set for 30, a quilt for 25, uh, there's the pressure washers again, patio chairs, the folding ones, we sold six for 120, stainless steel pan set 30, stainless steel dented trash can 25, stoneware dinner set 40, window AC units sold one for 120, Sold, oh, it looks like all four of those Yoshi beanbag chairs sold. Uh, 120, and that is the special buy items. So, well, actually, that's all of the items. Um, pretty happy with where we're at so far. And then going back home, just update 98.62. I don't remember what we were at a couple minutes ago. So, it's, wow, that was a loud train. So it's died down a little bit, but um, those pressure washers were a hit. We're almost out. Well, it's the next morning and it's raining pretty good. I was not expecting this. And I really don't want to bring the carts out in this and get soaked, but it's 639. So I kind of have to do that right now. I really don't want to though. Last night, the weather report said it was going to be clear all day until about 3 o'clock. Now it says it's going to rain until about 11 and then be clear the rest of the day. What? Uh, but yesterday, we did over 15 grand. Very happy with that. Um, which fits into my goal of thirty to $40,000 the first two days. I don't think we're going to match that today and the rain definitely isn't going to help. Um, 
we've got a lot of stuff. Not quite the quality of what we had yesterday though, especially the special buy area. So I'm going through some of these small appliances. I wanted to have all the special buy stuff tagged and ready before the sale, but we just didn't have enough time. The printer coming late was also a factor. But a lot of these are really easy. This is, you know, I opened it up. I took the top off and looked in. This is clearly new. So all I have to do is new, was not tested, 100% complete. Some of them, like this probably isn't new. Most of the air fryers have been used. So what I'll do is I will plug it in. I've got an outlet right over there. And on the label, what I'll do is like used very good or good, uh, power tested only, and then the completedness. And if there's anything to write down, I'll write it down there. Um, and then I'm scanning the barcode on target to get the price, taking a screenshot, and then going into my office to add it to the system. Well, then I come back out, put a price tag out, and put it on the shelf. Um, so a question that I've seen or comment that I've seen several times is how it's not very efficient. And I agree, this is not an efficient way of doing it but I don't have a lot of options here. You can print barcodes through Square. However, you can't use the free version of Square for that. You have to sign up for Square for retail, which is 60 bucks a month. If we were a traditional store, here's a little wild tip. If we were a traditional store and adding products every day, then I might consider it. Um, 60 bucks a month though, if we say every three months, which is about how frequent our sales are, that's 180 bucks per sale which really in the grand scheme of things still isn't that much. But the other issue is the barcodes. I mean, you've seen them. Here, let me show you. I want our logo. I want the retail price. I want, you know, the barcodes of Square aren't going to print like this. They're going to be smaller barcodes. Um, that's going to, I don't think I can put the logo on. I definitely can't put retail on. The best, maybe I could put price it at that and then do like a, you know, clearance or discounted price or something, cross it out and write it on and change the price in the system. I don't like that though. I like these big stickers. I like my formatting. I would love to find a way to automate this more. And I'm gonna play around with it in, in the off season between the sales and see if there's a way that I can automate it better. Um, getting the printer at the last second really didn't help things, but this will work for now. We have, I can't imagine we're going to have more than 100 SKUs uh, of special buy. Um, so it really doesn't take all that long to do it. If we were pricing everything, then it would be another story. But uh, it seems to work. So I'm just going to open this up. Also, I wish I had like a table or something set up over here. You can see it's wrapped in the plastic. That doesn't, whoa, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, some people will make it look nice when they return things. So I'm gonna take it out. The cord is neatly wrapped up and the way this is tied off, this is factory. So I can tell this actually has not been open. Um, but just to check, we're going to, we got factory tape on here, which you remove that, you can tell. And if, and I'll just remove it for the sake of this video, if that was removed, I would be able to, if I can remove it, pop this out, and I'll give it a smell test. And it smells like whatever oils they put on it when it's new. So this actually is brand new, hasn't been used. If it was, and I'm not going to show you this because the cord is all neatly wrapped up in the factory plastic. It hasn't been pulled out. Uh, but if it was, I would plug it in, make sure the lights come on, test a couple of the buttons. And then it says it's power tested. Now because it's new, we just put was not tested uh, because it's new. We also have, let me show you this. I found that sticking this on first, by the way, it doesn't smear afterwards. If I write it on the sheet and stick it on, I'm doing this to make sure it's stuck on there and that smears it. So new, was not tested, 100% complete. But we also have here that they can be returned by 7, 17 of 22. That's the end of the sale. Um, and we do honor that because these are much more expensive. We're less likely to honor that if someone bought an item for $3 on the sales floor. Um, I believe I might have the same one out already, so I might be able to just reprint the barcode from it, but I'm gonna take a screenshot or scan this on target and take a screenshot just in case. Now this is an item 
obviously there's no testing to be done. So what I'll do on this one is I'll put new and I'll just put other or maybe just leave that blank and then 100% complete. Um, there was tape on this. I cut the tape, but the box is still glued down here. So it tells me this has never been open. So I'm going to get the retail price, make a tag for half that, and then put this out. Now this has no packaging. And you can clearly see this some wrinkles on the bottom, denting here. Big dent there. I'm actually going to try and quick pop that out. Um, just pushing on the back. I'm not going to go too crazy. But customer can clearly see the condition. I'm not even going to put one of these green tags on it. I'm just going to put a price tag on it. So I don't know if I made that better or worse. It's no longer caved in, but there's some wrinkles. I just pounded it with my hand, but it does work. When I push the bottom here, it opens. Someone will buy that. I believe if I remember at 55 was retail, we'll probably put it like 20 or 25 bucks. I bet that'll still sell. Here's how I made that condition report, I guess. <clears throat> I just made a table in Microsoft Word and put more tables in it. And I couldn't do two separate tables here, so I just put a cell in the middle and made them all black. Um, I don't know why I wouldn't let me do that. I'm not super great with Microsoft Office, so that's probably why. And then I just print them on these. I bought these on Amazon, I don't know, four or 100 labels, so 100 sheets for 25 bucks maybe. It wasn't much. I love having radios. It's so much easier than trying to text each other and hope the other person... Season. I bought this a few sales ago, a set of six of these for, I don't know, 150 bucks. It is one of the best purchases I've made for these warehouse sales. So I'm adding these. We got three of them. They are, hold on, uh, 336 at Target. We're at half 168. I think these will go pretty fast. Um, I just got to get them on there. They look heavy. Supposedly they're made with real wood or poom legal i don't know this is poom upside down i don't know what that is upside down l e l e a d with a weird loop so poom liad i'm a genius l e a d is not liad it's lead or lead or i don't know i can't think of a funny thing to add for the third one you just have to use your imagination. Pretend I said something funny. That's usually what you do, right? Yeah, these are incredibly heavy. Uh, I would guess probably 200 pounds. So I wonder if it says on the box somewhere. <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, it does not say here. And I just crouched down. Now I can't get up. You have to take my word for it. Like 200 pounds-ish. There's a team lift thing on the back. Maybe it says there. Um, maybe it wasn't on the back. Maybe it was on here. Team lift. No, it doesn't have the weight. Uh, product dimensions. I'm very curious now. I'm invested. I don't know. Super heavy, though. I don't think I'd be able to lift it myself. I, like, rotated it onto here. So I'm gonna get the hand truck for the rest. I just found something amazing in here. Let's look. It's not the Blue's Clues. For the Fisher Price, or whatever this is, monster truck thing, it's Seinfeld the Party Game. Yes, I will be keeping one of these. Are these two different ones? No, they're the same. Other stuff in the bottom. Fish the Marble Ride a Wind. How amazing is this? I'm adding it to my collection of stuff I'm bringing home. And for those wondering, the way it works, if I want something, it is dark in here. The way it works, if I want something, is I still have to buy it. I buy it from the company, but I buy it at cost. So, at least it doesn't break the bank too much. The customer is literally leaving trash on her counter now. She bought stuff, set that there, and then just left it and walked away. There were still fries in it. They were warm. I think it would be funny if the customer came back in realizing that she forgot them and sees me eating them. I don't know. I don't know what fries you're talking about. It is Saturday morning. We don't have a ton of stuff to put out. This can go out. Uh, special buy area is going to be a main focus today. I feel like we're going to have enough traffic where we can really blow out a lot there. Um, put some stuff out. We've had these for a long time. We've been saving them for back to school and this is our last sale before back to school. Oh, I have a gap here that I need to fill in rather quickly. 
Uh, let's see. Getting low on the rugs. We've refilled this a couple of times. Looks like that needs to be refilled. Just all sorts of different stuff here. Muscle milk. Those must have gone out late yesterday because I feel like those would have sold. Just a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but we are kind of running low on a lot of inventory. So it'll be interesting to see how today goes. I'm definitely nervous about this sale, about what we have for inventory. Uh, most of these sold the first day. Surprisingly, we didn't sell many yesterday. Same with these folding chairs. We sold a ton of these the first day and not a whole lot the second day. We did sell the cube organizers and then I put these out in their place. So let's see. This emptied out and was refilled. Uh, bedding. I don't know what else to say. That's where we are now. So we're gonna get some air compressors in here. This beefy one is 450 bucks in the store. And it works, it looks new. We're selling it for half price, 225. This one here uh, works, but one of the wheels is broken. We're selling it for 100, it's 250 in the store. And then this one over here, I'm not even gonna test it. Um, this is the one where this is not attached, but also the cords messed up there. And where did I see it? Several spots like this on here. I'm not gonna plug this in. Um, we're selling this one significantly under half. Where is it? Uh, it's on here somewhere. Right there, 330 in the store, we're selling it for 80. I don't know if someone will buy a broken one for 80, but that's significantly under retail, so maybe someone will. I don't know. So it's Sunday morning, just got here. We're a hair shy of 30,000 for the week so far. So hopefully we can maintain a $10,000 a day average. We did not do 10,000 yesterday. Definitely didn't do it the day before, but the first day was so good that kind of gave us just inside. Of, we're like 150 bucks shy of 30 grand. So let's get set up. So another air compressor. We sold one of these. Uh, the wheel was broken, got a hundred bucks for it. 250 was retail. Uh, this one, literally the same issue, except this one, the wheel's missing altogether. And on the pallet, this was under it. So, uh, but also works tested fine. We're gonna sell this one for another hundred. Uh, we've got this yet that I haven't tested, and then we've got another one this size that's on the sales floor. Uh, I don't remember what it was, 225 or something, whatever half price it, whatever half price is. And then we've got a bunch of smaller ones in here too that I should probably start getting, going through and testing, uh, because obviously these are two different customers. Someone who needs one of those isn't gonna be interested in one of those, but someone who wants something smaller and more portable isn't gonna want this massive thing. And I'm just adding all the stickers. I love how professional my stickers look. They um, will probably stay there. I mean, most people won't take them off. So 20 years from now, when someone's working on something in their house, there'll still be a Wisconsin liquidation sticker on it, maybe. So is there anybody out there watching this who nails on a chalkboard does not bother? Because it's never bothered me at all. I'm not, I don't like enjoy the sound. I don't go, let's hear some loud squeaks. But it doesn't bother me. It's not like you get the heebie-jeebies like some people. Anyways, the reason I ask is because, so this has one wheel, so I was trying to roll it out, but that was dragging and causing a loud, you can kind of see the mark here, a loud screech and Tim freaked out. And my better half is the same way. She does not like that sound. So I'm curious if I'm just weird and that doesn't bother me or I don't know. Does it bother you? I haven't even looked at how much we've made so far today, but it actually seems fairly busy in there, which is a good sign. I'm back here kind of going through uh, Walgreens stuff. Look at how much of a mess this place is. We, um, that's not going to stay there. So we didn't manage to get through all the Walgreens in time because it came like last second. You know, that's three pallets there, four pallets and a partial that we haven't gone through yet. So I'm just rushing to try and we get need you at the register. try and get sorted to try and get stuff to put out. One thing that I'll say is nice. My better half, Christiana, came over, made me dinner last night with extra, so I'll have dinner tonight. 
on these really exhausting sails, that is the best thing ever and really improves my day. Last of the air compressors are priced and ready to go. This is the only one that was completely defective on these two pallets. There was that pallet of Husky. There was one that I just didn't want to test because the cord was all chewed up. I'm assuming it's junk, but this is the only one it runs. It just doesn't hold pressure. I can't find where any air is escaping. There's no, you know, you know, I checked all of the connections, I guess. I couldn't find any leaks. There was, there's like the little valve on the bottom that was closed. So I don't know, all these other ones work. So we'll price them like 70, what is this one? 40, I think that one's 50, but we should do pretty well on this pallet. And with that, we sold through two pallets of grandma's cookies. We've got one more pallet left here. So we're gonna run down some sales numbers in a minute, but I wanna show you some product that we still have left related to these sales numbers. So if you remember, I bought a pallet of pressure washers and I spent 1200 bucks on it. We're getting pretty low. We've got these cordless ones here. We've got, looks like two of these. These were selling for 30 bucks for parts. These are the defective ones. We had four defective ones and three working ones. Um, the other two models have sold out. I also have a handful of these, I think three of them with the battery, just so we don't have any confusion and wait until these sell out before I put them out on the tables. Um, total in the sale, we've sold them for $2,169.68 plus tax. Additionally, we sold a handful for 50 to 100 each outside of the sale, just selling them. Tim made a, a marketplace listing and he was selling them. And um, I would guess that's probably another 300 maybe. Uh, so roughly about 24, 2,500 bucks off of my $1,200 purchase. And I still have a good deal left. I mean, we have these listed at 50, uh, we have those at 30, and then the ones with the battery, whatever half retail is, I don't remember what they are, probably some 80 bucks or so would be our price. Um, now the air compressors, I had two pallets of air compressors, 350 each. Uh, one, I've got nothing to show you. There were four big ones. We sold them for 649.96. Um, they were tall ones like this. Two of them, the same model, were each missing a wheel. And so I sold them for a hundred bucks each. Retail is 250. And then two of them, oh, here we go. Two of these. This one was sold, but the, the guy's picking it up uh, this week. Uh, I sold these for 225 each, 450 is retail. So I went half retail. Now the other pallet had this big one, which we have for 200, half retail. This big one here, although it's missing the wheels, we have for 150, which is half retail. And a bunch of little ones which you can see over here. That one, we're at only 189.96, but of course, 200, 150. This we have at, there it is, 40 bucks. This one we have at 30, 40 bucks. I'm sorry, this one's at, yeah, all these are 40 bucks. Um, I've got two of these left at 50. No, these are two different ones. This one's 50. And this one's 70. And then I've got another one of these in the back that didn't work. It ran, but it wouldn't charge up. Um, so I'm thinking, I don't know, there must be a leak or some some issue. Uh, we'll probably sell that for like 20 bucks or something, 10 bucks, whatever it sells for. Um, but anyways, that's going to turn out to be a pretty good pallet as well. Now, four days in, the grand total, 38,370 in sales. Uh, over 15,000 of that was the first day. And then let's go down the list here. Let's start with category sales. Uh, special buy items, over $10,000, and then 27,000 on other items. And this 206 is when we manually type it in, um, as well as there were a couple of, I think the Melissa and Doug bunnies, we forgot to add them to the general category the first day. Um, so back to item sales. Uh, let's see, custom amount, 135 bucks. Pressure washers, 60 for this, for 59.98 for this particular one. Uh, this is the one for parts, we sold two of them. Melissa and Doug bunnies, 11 for $11. And bear in mind, we've got another skew for that. This is the uncategorized skew. Um, so that's not gonna go up anymore. 
Apparel, 227. General merchandise, 26,862. Light up item, that's the little dog collars and magnets, 216. Here's the other skew for Melissa and Doug Bunny. We sold 30 of them for 30 bucks. Okibashi sandals, 24 of them for 120 bucks. Set of kitchen towels. Remember, I've got 1,200 sets. It's a set of two. Uh, we sold 158 of them for 316 bucks. Surface cleaning wipes. We sold 24 of them for 48. I'm gonna drop the price to a buck to try and move them faster because we've got a lot of them. I did sell one of the weighted blankets for 24.99. Uh, let's see, and then a lot of these are just single skews. This 12 pound weighted knit throw, $34.99. Here's another pressure washer skew, the 1800 PSI for $660. 1900 PSI pressure washer for $1719. 2000 PSI washer for $400. Uh, three gallon air compressor, $40. Three by five area rug, we sold two for $40. Bucks. Five drawer rolling cart sold for $25. Six gallon air compressor, which I just showed you, we sold for 70. American Tourister suitcase. We only sold two of them for 150 bucks. I think I'm gonna drop the price a little bit. The B Dot Toys Rocking Unicorn. We sold 12 of them for 240 bucks. The Batman Bicycle Batsicle playset. Bat cycle. I can't talk. 175 bucks. Well, we sold a blanket basket for 30, an air fryer for 50, uh, two ceiling fans for a total of 100. 29 gallon air compressor. Uh, we sold two of them for 449. That's that big black one that I just showed you. Uh, closet system. We only sold three of them for 239. I think I'm gonna drop the price on that. The Coleman Instant Canopy. We sold all 16 of them the very first day for 1359, 1360 bucks. Uh, compact portable AC unit, 165. Craftsman Weed Whacker, 50. Uh, the Elba patio armchair. We sold 21 of them for 461. I've got uh, six in the back and probably, well, let's see. There were six boxes. There were 36 total. So I've got, was that 15 left? Um, and they're like 22 bucks or something. Uh, a glass storage set we sold for 30. Uh, a comforter set for 25. We sold eight floor lamps for 270. Glass bacon store set. We sold eight of them for $164.92. The last one I found a couple days later and I bumped it up to 25 bucks instead of 20. And it sold 30 as retail. <clears throat> Gourmet food station, 75. An air purifier, 100 bucks. A curtain set, 35. A cordless vacuum, 50. Uh, another comforter, 35. Uh, air purifier, 105. Uh, Hoover Wind Tunnel Max. Oh, it's a vacuum. 65. The Ignite Exercise Mats. We only sold two of them for 46 bucks. I'm going to have to drop the price on that. Uh, an 8 quart instant pot, 60. A 6 quart instant pot, 65. I don't know how that works out. I just priced them at whatever half retail was. An instant pot duo, 6 quart, 54. A dehumidifier, 170. One of the large table lamps, 35. I'm going to have to drop the price on the rest of them. Little Tykes basketball hoop set. Only two of them for 60 bucks. I'm not dropping the price on that because it's a toy item. Any that go unsold will save for Christmas. Little Tykes water table. Sold all 15 of them for 370 Uh 20 gallon air compressor. This is the one that was missing a wheel. We sold two of them for 100 each. Total of 200 Three gallon air compressor, two of them, 80 bucks total. Four mirrors for a total of 100. An espresso for 80, and then another espresso for 85. Uh, two different models. A nightstand for 25. An oversized lounge pillow for 35. Uh, porcelain dinnerware set, 30. Power XL air fryer, 35. Another air fryer, 50. A quilt for 25. 18-volt uh, pressure washer, three of them for 150. Uh, bigger 18-volt pressure washer, three of them for 180. Three miter saws for 210. Uh, all 12 of the sliding bin frames sold, 419. All 30 of the sling patio folding chairs sold for 600 bucks. Uh, two of the small table lamps for 50. Stainless steel pan set for 30, stainless steel trash can for 25, step trash can for 25, dinnerware set 40, volleyball badminton set. We only sold five for 150. 
I might drop the price by like five bucks, maybe. I haven't decided yet. Two window air conditioners for $239.98 and all four Yoshi beanbag chairs for $120. So let's go through what we have in the special buy area now, still. Um, let's see, we've got two of these rocking unicorns. I don't know why, we didn't sell either of them yesterday. The day before we sold like six or seven of them. I think I'm gonna move them onto the shelf over there. They're kind of tucked away here. These lamps, 25 bucks, no one wants these. I don't know why. Um, but I just put those out yesterday. Uh, these closet systems are at 80, marked down from 155. I think I might drop them by 15 bucks, do like 65 or something like that. These chairs, I've got, this is the ones I was talking about where I've got these left plus six in the back, uh, 21.99. They're slowly moving, but they're moving. This stuff just kind of went out yesterday. This is a really nice marble table, 110 bucks in the store. Llama picture. Um, and then you already saw this over here. I got two more of these. Uh, these we did 30 bucks. There are no batteries or chargers in them. Uh, some chairs here. This one's half price. This one's 55 bucks. This one retail is 297. We priced it at 100, so about 70% off. Um, this thing uh, is like a cabinet with a glass inlay, insert, whatever, 65 bucks. I think I'm gonna have to drop the price on this. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to or not, but we're at 167, which is or 168, which is half price. Maybe we'll try like 150. I might try dropping it to that. And then we got a lamp yet back here. This thing. I can't believe how expensive these are in the store. I looked it up. Look at that. 67 bucks at Target. I thought those were like 20 bucks. So we're gonna stop putting these out for $10 a day when we get them. <clears throat> the luggage. Nice bag. Really nice suitcase, but. It's just not moving, but I think we're over half. 135 is retail, so half that would be, what, 70? No, like 67, something like that, 67.50. So we'll probably drop this to 65 bucks, which is about half, and see if that moves them. These went out late in the last sale, or the last day, I mean, uh, 20 bucks. Uh, these, oh, and by the way, I didn't put retail on there because retail is 20 bucks. I feel like it's worth it. I think someone's gonna buy it. Uh, here, 130 bucks is retail, 35 bucks we have a price set. The other one sold the first day. I don't know why this one isn't moving. Uh, we've got these yet, a whole bunch of bedding. One ceiling fan out, I'm gonna put some more out. These are the ones, we're half retail and they're brand new and it's summertime. I'm surprised they're still here, but maybe I'll try moving them up to here instead of tucked away down there. This went out late in the day yesterday. We get paper. Um, I think we started with four, so we get those. These are the exercise mats. I already showed you this stuff, some appliances. Oh, no, we have a second ceiling fan out here yet. Some small appliances, and then the lamps that we need to drop the price on. Um, 35, it just isn't moving them. This is a nice set, though. You'd think they'd go for 35, but they're not. So we're going to have to drop the price on those. And then we've got the sale that I need to clean up and start organizing. I've got today and tomorrow. And I'd like to get the back cleaned up and whatnot. So I'm going to get to work. So I reorganized this a little bit. I put these up here. I put these up here. And I've got a little bit more space for other things over here too. So Tim came in yesterday. Um, and then I left early. So I'll show you what I set up and I'll show you what he did after I left. So the tables... I mean, I added stuff. They don't look remarkably different, just a little more organized. But I added this over here with a whole bunch of cleaning products and whatnot. I don't know what this stuff is worth. I'm sure a lot of it's worth five bucks. And then Tim brought, started bringing out stuff. This car is full of stuff. Then go out a couple boxes there, some stuff here. And he really started going through the back all the Walgreens that we hadn't gotten a chance to sort. A cart full here, a whole bunch here, a whole bunch here, including some laundry detergent. But I think there's more. I haven't gone back here yet, but there's a lot of stuff sitting here. So this is all Walgreens stuff ready to go out, as is this. This is a mix of Walgreens and some other stuff ready to go out. I see some more laundry detergent in there. More stuff here. 
Now, I haven't walked back here yet. Let's see how it looks. <clears throat> Still a mess. It pretty much looks the same as it did before, except it appears that he finished going through all of the Walgreens because it was stacked kind of right there. Now, he did tell me that he went through it and was just basically pulling stuff out for $5 a day and pulling winter stuff that we're holding back for the winter sale out. So it's not really sorted, but um, I mean, after $5 a day is three, most of it could just probably be put out. It's not that big of a deal. So I'm pretty happy with uh, where we're at right now. I suspect we're gonna be pretty well loaded up tomorrow. And as long as we have customers coming in, as long as we have de decent traffic, I think tomorrow's gonna be a pretty good day. So I don't know how this slipped through, but I just found this on the table. Um, the next video you're gonna see is actually the eBay sales that I did yesterday. I shipped out eBay orders and um, this was something that I sold and I could not find it. And it wasn't that the item that sold is on the table. I ended up finding it in the wrong box over there somewhere, but it was sold for 25 bucks. So uh, yeah, pulled this from $5 a day. We'll put this back out or relisted it on eBay here. $29.99. I took an offer on the last one. So I don't know how that, no cabinet handles like this should end up on the table uh, in the sale. I don't know how it did, but I mean, occasionally things slip out, but now this is going on eBay. I am all set up and ready for tomorrow. So let's walk through what all we have before we close out this video. Uh, tools, home improvement is this run here. Loaded up a ton of hardware. I mean, these probably aren't worth five. Maybe they are, I don't know. But these definitely are. Tape, again, definitely not worth five. Probably worth five. I don't know. And then just all sorts of stuff, things, and whatnot. I know I'm going through it fast. I want to go home. I'm tired. We sold this on eBay. I can't really test it, so we sold it as untested, but guaranteed. And it got returned. It didn't work. So... It's in the sale now. Uh, let's see, and then over here, we've got more stuff. Five bucks is a heck of a deal for these. Uh, sunscreen, this is kind of neat. Um, University of Wisconsin Oshkosh, as well as Oshkosh North, I'm assuming that's a high school. Yeah, there you go, Oshkosh North High School. Oshkosh is a nearby town. Um, I don't, I highly doubt it's part of the Green Bay metro area, but if you were to say like an extended metro area, it's probably considered part of it. It's part of Northeastern Wisconsin. Anyways, um, because our Walgreens stuff is coming out of the Midwest, we get local stuff like this. We got a bunch of Wisconsin Badgers stuff once. So that's kind of neat. Although we also get a lot of stuff from schools that people don't care about, like high schools in Illinois. Um, so more stuff and whatnot. The thing about this Walgreens, we got it so late, we weren't able to go through it before the sale. So a lot of this stuff, like these are probably would have been worth going out on $10 a day. They're going to just now going out on five, but we're just pushing it out, get rid of it. Uh, let's see, and below the tables are all filled up too. Toys, all sorts of toys. We got a lot of these Tron and Westworld dolls from Walgreens. Uh, I don't know if we sold any yet, but we've got a lot of them. Uh, and then just a wide assortment of stuff. We get some football cards here, puzzles and whatnot. Uh, some clothing. Still have this extreme sand. More odds and ends in the toy section. Uh, most of the Target case pack stuff is sold except for these. And then this, I think, is it. And I'm a little surprised. The police one, Chase was his name. Those sold out really early. Um, I guess people like that one better. I don't know. I don't know Paw Patrol. Um, and then these Flying Feathers games, that's the only other one I think that we have left from that. Uh, a lot of Walgreens stuff, Lego sets throughout here. These were selling a case of like 13 or however many are in there for five bucks. Oh, the chalk, that came from Target as well. Uh, and then just more stuff. And the Barbies, those came from Target. And then we found a ton of laundry detergent. Bottles down there, over here. There's gonna be more on these tables, uh, but just stuff. These, I don't remember if I mentioned, but I've been hanging on to these for like two years because I set them aside for back to school and then forgot it last year. 
So now it sat until back to school this year, but we're finally getting rid of them. Just a whole heap of things. This is the type of stuff that we had on $10 day. But again, um, the over the door hooks, this is the last three of the black ones over here. Uh, and then down here, I don't know if alkaline water in a six pack is worth five bucks, but we're going to see how it goes. I've got a whole pallet of this stuff. Laundry detergent, that's $12.99 at Target. Coffee, here's another Walgreens thing that's local, the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, $14.95 was retail on this. I'm sure we'll sell a couple. We'll probably sell them all on a cheaper day. Uh, we're getting very low on the grandma's cookies. We do still have some in the back, but considering how many we started with, and then this stuff over here. I did drop the price on these to a buck. I think we only sold 24 of them in the first half of the sale for $2 each. I'm hoping to sell out of them. So we're gonna try a dollar, see how that works. Uh, the shoes, Roundup. I don't understand why this stuff, it just doesn't move. It's like 20 bucks in the store. Um, I know it's not the healthiest thing to use. From my understanding, I don't know if they changed the formula or if this is still the bad stuff. But I mean, it sells in the store, so I don't see why it wouldn't sell here. And it is, this stuff does expire, and it is in date. I think this is the one that expires. Uh, let's see, maybe I'm thinking of a different product that we had. Because I don't see a date. I don't think that's a date at all. I just sworn this had a date. But anyways, the, whatever product it was that I saw had a date was good to like 2025. I think it might have been fertilizer that I saw. Clothing, shams, leggings, and whatnot. Uh, the gold over the door hangers, we've got these, and a couple more down there, and that's all that's left. More odds and ends. We put these out yesterday, I think. Well, not yesterday, the first day. Wow, I can't talk. The last day that we were open, $6 a day. Let's just go with that. Uh, I'm not sure we sold any yet. And then this is looking nice. This went out. I think I showed you this. Um, I added the bug spray. Some more laundry soap, Paul Mitchell. Uh, this Gatorade is awful. I, I don't recommend it at all. It is disgusting. Um, and then there was more of that laundry soap. It's scattered throughout. Uh, shoes and stuff. I left this one mostly empty so people can kind of transfer it as they're digging. Curtains or apparel. I don't know. I think it's all curtains except for this. Uh, underwear, socks. Feminine products, and then other odds and We've got one cat scratcher left, and I think the reason it didn't sell was because the tag on it said display only, take a box behind it or something. I think people, for once, read the sign and followed the rules. Uh, that's been down there since the first day. Everything is 10 bucks. It's gonna stay down there. Um, but anyways, I don't care. We got one left, it'll sell for five. Probably first thing tomorrow when we open. Clothes. Bedding, this was that bare bedding, but we've been adding stuff to it. Throw pillows. I cut this pallet down so you can get, you know, see what's in here better. Um, and then the special buy area, we've got these lamps, 25 bucks. Four of them in the back and then the display. I dropped these to $64.99. Hopefully that moves them. I think we've sold four of them. We must have sold four because I think this was an even height and I remember specifically three. So there must have been four total. We dropped it to 65. Uh, chairs are unchanged. These things are all unchanged. I dropped these from 75 to 65. Uh, what else? This lamp, I was gonna drop it, then I realized the reason it probably hasn't sold is because it's all lopsided and really loose, so I tightened the nut on the bottom. When Tim put it together, he must not have put it, just hand tightened it or something. So we'll give it a couple days at that. But I did drop the price of this to 150. Uh, what else? Over here, I dropped the price of these to $14.99. I moved these up here, but I'm keeping them priced as they are for now. I took the extra one out of the boxes over there and moved them onto a shelf. This, $170, our price $30, and it was brand new. This was factory sealed, except I could hear something rattling in it. So I opened it up, and this bottom tray is damaged. And it's, I mean, it's really just cosmetic as far as I know. It doesn't look like it turns on, it runs. It doesn't look like there's any issues. So maybe someone will buy it as a cheap air fryer. Put out a few more ceiling fans. Found one of these buried in with there. And it was 320 PSI, 600 PSI. This one's a little bit more. And those sold out pretty fast. Um, and then these, we haven't been moving. So I dropped the price to 40. 
Um, and I dropped the price of the lamps to 25. So that is the sale. First half of the sale was pretty good. I'm happy with it. You're gonna have to wait until the next video to see what the second half of the sale is. I'm gonna try to get this edited during the break, um, which is like tonight. So you might see this video soon. If not, at the very least, you, how do I word this? Because it depends if I get this video edited. You either will, the next video you'll see is an eBay sales video, or the last video you saw was an eBay sales video, depending on how quickly I'm able to get this edited. I'm gonna try to do that tonight, but I gotta do some grocery shopping because I've been getting takeout like every day for lunch and dinner, and it's getting expensive. I need to get some groceries so I can bring lunches to work and have something after work that I can easily make when I'm exhausted. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm excited to see what the second half of the sale brings, and I will see you in the next one.